very hard, very hard to speak on a video. I'm looking at myself for starters, which is the just not easy. Anyway, I've got to speak. I've had a shit day, and thank you to one person um, who's inspired me to actually open my mouth. John, thank you. I've been watching your videos and I've been loving them and you've, you're giving me the courage to just start speaking. I hope I can pause this goddamn thing here and start again if I get stopped because this is really not easy. <sighs> Island, farmers, horses, cattle and the New World Order. What have they all got in common? What? Where's the link? Where's the connection? Okay, I've I've just spent 80 kilometers today. I've driven around 80 kilometers. I've driven 20 kilometers to my hay merchant to pick up some hay. And 20 kilometers back. So to get one bale of hay, you know, you've got to drive 20 kilometers here. And... The scene was unbelievable today, and I don't care anymore. I really don't care anymore. I now open my stupid mouth. I've looked at all these things now for a year and a half. I've I've had a big awakening to the truth of life, to what's going on in this world for real. And it, it's very funny. Um, <laughs> I did my tarot cards yesterday. I do tarot cards every now and then, used to. Um, ended up burning them because I went and looked at all sorts of shit on the internet as well and then discarded them. But anyhow, looking looking at the book that comes with my tarot cards, I, I looked at symbolism and horses, believe it or not, horses, symbolism is, they, they're soul guides, okay? About two years ago, I started on this journey. Two years ago, I've done a video, actually not 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 far away from you know today's date. It was on the 19th of April, 2011, and that's when I started waking up. I watched a video on YouTube about the horse roundups in America. I watched the video called Braveheart. Um, where you could see a little stallion sort of fighting for his freedom. And it gave me such a shock. I, I could still cry when I think about this, what with all the space they have out there and how these animals are hunted. It started me off on a long journey looking at things, you know, looking at reality. I've always led a very sheltered life. My, my grandparents have always looked after me very well, my mother and everybody, my husband. In the end, you know, whenever there was scenes of cruelty on the television, you know, oh, don't look, you know, don't look. You're going to get upset. <sighs> so I grew up not knowing, okay? I grew up being lied to, I found out just recently. You know, when you look at the cruelty that, that goes on with animals, it's just unbelievable. Um, I looked at all of that. I looked at slaughterhouses how animals are being slaughtered so i stopped eating meat because i don't want to be part of that i was under the delusion that you know animals are being killed humanely forget about that and you know that's all load of bollocks so anyway then the next thing i looked at was um you know how our earth's polluted what we're doing what impact we're having all that sort of lot uh looked at you know how people are being treated, slave trade is all real, it nearly happened to me when I was 13, I, I nearly got dragged away into some side alley on a trip to France, now I understand what that was all about, it was only due to the fact that I absolutely exploded at the time that I got away, I mean, it's, anyway I'm, I'm, I'm diverting. Uh, so I, I found out loads of things about the world and, you know, the world that we live in. I found out about climate engineering, um, you know, the new world order, uh, what's going on with, with the banks and, you know, how they're trying to wreck economies on purpose. 
And one of the worst things I found out was about Agenda 21. And, and that is, you know, it's, it's genocide on a, on a large st scale. So, again, what has that got to do with farmers and horses and Ireland? Well, the scene today at the hay merchant was unbelievable. I was there in a queue with five, six, seven other farmers who were all waiting for one delivery that the guy had managed to get, delivery of hay and straw. Um, it's been getting tighter and tighter for the last sort of three, four weeks. Uh, every time I've gone there, he says, well, you know, it's getting really hard to try and find hay, I'm really struggling. I'm going all the way down to Wexford and Kerry and here and there. I've been up north, I've been everywhere. Well, it's come up to a, a head, you know, two weeks ago I went there and, you know, he's got a huge, great big warehouse and there must have been sort of on the left, near not, over a thousand small bales of hay and, uh, I don't know, must be somewhere in the, in the region of 30 bales of straw, large big round bales and about 150 bales of hay. So I went there on a Wednesday, I went back on the Friday because he said, you know, it's getting difficult to get stuff. And on that Friday, uh, when I went back, there was three bales of uh, large round beds of hay left. So inside two days, all that stuff, hay, straw, has disappeared. And again, you know, he told me uh, we'd come at such and such a time and, you know, there'll be another delivery, another load. I'm getting another load in. So I went there with my trailer this time and made sure, you know, I've got my my three beds of hay, that one that I can fit on the back of my car, two in the, in the trailer. Off I went, you know, thinking, oh, well, it's his livelihood. He's, he's surely going to figure out, you know, he's going to find some more hay and source some more hay. Well, today was a bit of a wake-up call for me because he can't find any more hay. Ireland is out of hay. There was guys, like I said, queuing there, you know, uh, all really, really worried, all desperate. Uh, you know, any farmer I talk to around here is, is getting worried and desperate. Now, I've always admired farmers greatly. It's, it's part and parcel of being a horse owner. You know, they, they provide the breadcrumbs, don't they? And farms are absolutely wonderful people. They are the salt of the earth, you know. We could all not be here without farming people, right? Well, I've spoken to, to people, and I'm, I'm starting to speak out. You know, my I had a guy come round the other day, round my fields, and I've, I've told him. I told him they know how to make weather. And the Agenda 21, do you know what? Do you know what? And you should take this seriously because I looked at it. I looked at so much crap. I'm not a stupid person. You know, I've, 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 I've st I went to three universities. I am not stupid. I'm not stupid. I don't believe things easily. I'm not easily fooled either. But I can see when somebody is putting a noose around my neck and your neck, all our necks. Agenda 21, horses, farming is unsustainable, right? That's sinking. Unsustainable, alongside with all a host of other things like, you know, golf, private transport, private property. They don't want you to have anything. You know, Mr. Bill Gates with this 40,000 square meter villa. I looked at that as well on the internet. You can do a little tour of his villa, you know, where you, you get a you get a little chip when you go into the house and, and you put your preferences in. OK. How, the room temperature, if you want, you know, if you like it warm, you go from one room to the other. Wherever you go, this chip with this chip, you know, the, the room temperature changes according to what your preferences are that you've given this this chip. <laughs> but we can't have anything. You know, we're useless eaters. We have to disappear. We can't have a horse. We can't have our own house. We can't have cars. 
we're supposed to fuck off. That's what it's all about. And when you then look up in the skies and you see what's going on up there, all right, and you, you Google or you look on YouTube and, and you see all these people posting, you know, videos and, and pictures about chemtrails and stuff and everybody's sitting there like this. You know? Oh, but I'm stupid. I'm, I've lost it. I've gone bananas. I've lost the plot. I must be mad. Believing this. They're contrails, right? Okay. Harp is, is in my imagination. Okay. But here the little guys are suffering. The little farms, I've been told, you know, at the mart they control the prices for the cattle so that the little guy doesn't doesn't get a lot for his cow. Now they can't feed their cattle. I can't feed my horses. I don't know where my hay is supposed to come from. I've got a I've got a, a horse that's sick, can't go on the pasture, she's got laminitis, that's that's kinda like like diabetes. So she needs hay all year round. I better have her put down, won't I? Because she's unsustainable. It's not that I haven't got the money to pay for the hay. No, there is no hay. Island is out of hay. Green island. And do you know why that is? You wouldn't believe what's been happening here with the weather over the last three, four years. And how difficult it is to try and get a harvest in. And how last year they pissed on the farmer's straw when they tried to bring in the, the, the wheat and, and, and barley and all the other things that they need to feed their animals. And it got all pissed on by the rain. And it's not normal what's happening. How come all of a sudden, you know, they're struggling. Oh, it's global warming, isn't it? Oh, what a load of fucking bollocks. It's not global warming. It's man-made. I've had it. It's war, okay? I've found my voice all of a sudden. And I'm going to speak out. I talk to everybody now. I talk to people at the till and I tell them what I think. The guy, one of the guys that was there waiting for his hay to be unloaded, I went over to his car and said, oh, how's it going? Oh, God, Jesus, we're struggling. You know, what a nightmare. It's a famine here. I said, are you open-minded? He said, yes. And I told him. I told him. Do you know, I said, I googled and I looked up and I found out about Agenda 21. There's an agenda Agenda for the 21st century, austerity, all planned way back then, right? All planned. And then I said, I found out that they can manipulate the weather. And then if you put one and one together, well, where do you end up? All of a sudden, everything makes sense. You know, everybody says, oh, yeah, sure, you know, oh, no, it's the jet stream, it's stuck down south, that's why it's so bad. Yes, it's stuck down south, well, who's making it stuck down south? Have you ever looked up harp on the internet? I suggest you do. They're after your horses. I'm now talking to my Facebook friends, who I've been trying to reach you know, some of you, you know me personally. I'm not a, an arsehole. I'm not a liar. Why would I make this up? Why would, I make, why would I put myself through a year and a half of non-stop posting about all this shit on Facebook? You know, I'm trying so hard to reach out to you. I'm, I'm desperately trying to reach out to people and talk to them and make them see. Or maybe, you know, what am I supposed to say? What can I say? What can I say to make you look shit up? I mean, for fuck's sake, 9-11, what do you think went on there? Thank you, my Facebook friend, who round about the time when I was like knee deep 
in, in, in slaughterhouse shit and all the other awful things that happen on this planet, she sent me this link, you know, oh, did you know, by the way, have a look at this, fucking hell. Do you know, I look at this sort of stuff, I can't go back to normal. I've been asked, yeah, by somebody, is this, because I said, I've been looking for a year and a half now, six to eight hours every day, I've been doing research. Oh, is this an obsession? Or is this your job? Well, it's both, actually. My husband's asked me to find out as much as possible so we can try and figure this out together. Hopefully, hopefully, to be a little bit better prepared for what's in store for us all. And then when I when I find this shit out, I can't just sit there. Don't. Sorry, my dog's being stupid, having a fight. Evie, come over here. I can't. I can't just sit there and 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 rest my case and. Hey, no, don't. I can't. Toby, go away. You know, I I can't go back to. Oh la di da! Look, look how lovely! Oh, you know, you put you put a picture of your dog on YouTube, and everybody goes, "Ah, oh, look, isn't that lovely?" Yes, it's lovely. Okay, I get it. All right, but there's other things as well, and we need to talk about them. We can't just, you know, oh yeah, this is happening over there, and it's nothing to do with me. That's a nightmare. It's a nightmare what's going on on this planet. We need to wake up, okay? We need to change things. It can't go on like this. We're being steamrolled. And what does it take? You know, what do I have to post on Facebook for somebody to take note of what I'm trying to say? Are we here to share nice things, to cheer each other up? Fucking hell. Do you know when it's you who's losing your house? When it's you who can't put food on the table anymore? Maybe then you listen. Maybe then you start talking out. Maybe then you take an interest. Maybe then you, you, you read what I fucking post for so long. And I'm trying to reach out to you guys. What am I supposed to do? Some of you know me. We can't just keep living our lives like this, you know, looking the other way. Oh, it's got nothing to do with me. It hasn't hit me yet. So I'm all right. We're not all right. Okay. We are not all right. What's happening to your neighbor is going to happen to you soon. We're all in this together. All of us. They're out to get all of us. It's not a conspiracy. There is off. Oh, you know, so many videos out there, so many people trying to reach out to you, so much stuff out there. Now stop. Stop just looking at pictures of horses and, and cats and dogs and going... Who's not nice? Or, oh, look, isn't this awful what they're doing over there? And, you know, let's sign a petition. We need to speak out, all of us. I would love, you know, when I put something out on Facebook, you know, about, oh, for God's sake, you know, that bloke who had his one day old child stolen by the state, right? I put that up. And I get one people commenting. How disgusting is that? You don't give a shit. Do you know these elite, the, these people that are after us, okay, they're hunters. They're predators. And they've got us all sourced out. They've studied the shit out of human behavior. They've got us down to a T. And they know this is happening. They knew all of this. They knew that, you know, other people are going to point at the ones that figure this out. And they're going to say, look, there's a conspiracy theorist. She's gone in the head. Oh, God. 
you know, it's not in our consensus reality. We won't take you serious. They knew this. And once you go and you get, you know, you understand more and you understand more and more and more, right? You get to a point sometimes where you think, bloody hell, you know, you look at these people with the same contempt as, as, as these guys do. You can understand why they think we're all scum. Because we're being steamrolled by them and we do fuck all. We just sit there and take it. You know, one more thing, and another thing, and the next thing, and we all just sit there, oh yeah, right, you know, what can we do? We just have to put up with it, won't we? No, we don't. We can't. There is no hay in Ireland. It will go on like this. The weather won't get any better next year. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll have a better summer. You know, maybe next year it'll all be better. No, it won't. It's all planned. Once you understand that, you know what's coming. They're after every single one of us. Austerity for all. What do you think is happening in Greece? You know, the things that are happening to these people, and we don't give a shit. We sit in front of the telly. I've switched. When I found out all of this, do you know, television became, ah, oh, I mean, you know, it, it, it was ridiculous anyway. I've never watched that much anyway. And it was really annoying. But yeah, I've been watching telly, you know, being knackered from the day. What do you do? You slump down and you watch some, I don't know, I used to watch these yeah, build-your-own-house bloody programs and, and uh, what else, what else, what else? You know, I like cooking programs, right? Not that I'm a good cook, but I like watching people cook and I sit there and I think, oh, I wish somebody would cook that for me because I'd love to eat it because I hate cooking. Because I'm shit cook. So I've been told. Where am I going with this? I forgot now. Right. Okay. Once, once, once I woke up, once I saw what's going on, do you know, I switched the fucking thing off really quickly, really sharpish. Do you know what they do with the television? This, they, the, the frequency at which it flickers induces, induces, alpha waves in your brain, right? So you go into a state of trance. I don't, you know, I'm not affected by the adverts on the telly. No, I don't buy shit because I see it on the telly. Yes, you fucking do. And you know what? If it didn't work, do you think, do you really think people would spend billions of dollars and billions of pounds and billions of euros on these stupid adverts and put them out there if it didn't work. No. It all works. Works on your brain in a subliminal fashion. Then you watch these, these videos on, 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 on subliminals in the adverts and you just go fucking mental. You see it all. You see it all. Edward Bernays, everything is planned. Our whole reality is a complete and utter fantasy. You know, our so-called reality. It's been given to you. They gave you a reality. And it's, it's, it's bollocks. You end up buying shit and wanting this and wanting the other, and you know then you have it and oh, for, it doesn't make you happy. In fact, do you know what I used to? I used to buy shit, and you know get like a you get this 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 thrill, right? This feeling of power almost, right? It's all bollocks. And then you sit there with all the shit that you've bought and you don't know what to do with it, and it becomes a burden, right? You switch the fucking box off. I don't want to spend money anymore. I don't want to buy stuff anymore. It's 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 really difficult for me now to go and buy shit. I really, you know, I find it difficult to buy stuff. 
It's completely, it's weird, but it happens. You you get normal, you know. You find yourself, and oh God, that's another story. All this who we are stuff, all those lies. Religion, don't get me started on that, man. So yes, islanders are out of hay. Horses are unsustainable. This is from my friends in particular, if you care to watch. I don't know, maybe you think, oh God, here she goes on a run. Stupid cow. Look it up for yourself. I, I can't, you know, you have to look it up for yourself. That's another thing I learned. You know, I'm not very good at persuading people because I'm too forceful. I can't help it. You know, once once I find something out, once I see something, I just... Yeah, I want to explode with this. I want to get it out there. I want to share it. I want to help people. I want to. I don't know what I want to, you know, anymore. But evidently, I'm completely crap at this. So I've been told by my family, you know, I'm just not very persuasive. Because <laughs> I'm too forceful. I'm sorry. So, you know, look it up. Look up Agenda 21. Find out for yourself. Look up chemtrails. Look up in the sky, please. You can see it. Even, even if it wasn't chemicals that they were spraying, which I'm absolutely convinced it is because it's just so out there, right? I, I shared on Facebook, I shared pictures on Easter Sunday of the air traffic over Europe. You can go on these these websites, you know, flight right right radar or whatever they're called. And you know, I I took snapshots all over the planet on that day. And it's like my the mind boggles when you see how many planes there are. And even say, you know, it's it's condensation, lingering con condensation. What a load of fucking crap that is. Anyway, say this, right? Benefit of the doubt. Don't you think that that when the sky is, is closed up with it, that has no effect on the rest of us underneath, like the sun isn't coming through anymore. Oh, I think somebody's coming. Even then, it must have some sort of an effect, because I see the clouds, the, the sky being covered with contra creme threads, whatever the fuck they are, you know, it's covered. And they stay there for hours, they linger, and the sun doesn't come through anymore. And what happens when the sun doesn't come through? The plants don't grow, the grass doesn't grow. It's fucking cold. It's been here so cold, our grass has burned. Yeah. Talk to you later.